Usually I concentrate on the failures in crowdfunding because, well, I hate that industry. But by the same token, there are some things that I look at them and I tend to wonder why in the world they're crowdfunded at all. This is one of them. This is the Cento Cloud, or better known as the Cento Towel 2. It's an upgrade from people that have made this kind of product several times in the crowdfunding sphere. You tend to wonder, though, don't stores and malls exist for the people that are backing stuff like this? Why in the world do you need to crowdfund a towel? One of the most basic things and something that we have had coming out of stores on demand whenever we needed them for how many years? Well, they've managed to get $145,000 plus when they had this ridiculously low pledge goal of $10,636. So we pretty much had a guarantee that they were going to get there. And their previous campaigns had also made an awful lot of money. Let's take a look at those real quick. There we go. Now, they're from Japan, but the campaign seems to come out of Melbourne, Australia. Not really unusual there because of the proximity of the two countries. But let's take a look again at those. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Let's take a look at this. Collaborators on this product. Jellup. Jellup, in case you were wondering, is a marketing firm for crowdfunders. They help crowdfunders succeed. Now, I'm make, now it really it does, it makes sense because I'm willing to bet Jillup was the one that told them, set your crowdfunding goal low and like so many others, you'll be able to say, we were able to get totally funded in a ridiculously short period of time, which gets everyone else excited and pledging as well. Okay, what were the three created campaigns? Here we go. The one that we're looking at now, the Cento Cloud, their bathrobes, and then some more Cento towels right here. All of these, if I'm not mistaken, were successful. So, Let's go back and let's take a look at what they're going to do to sell you on the idea that you have to crowdfund a towel. A towel, mind you. Basic, everyday thing that everyone needs. And they'll do it in Japanese.
Well, that was painless, wasn't it? The problem, of course, is that if you look at some of the claims that they were making in the video, this is supposed to be the world's best bath towel 2.0. Now, wouldn't that mean that their original campaign, that product is lesser than this one? You know, little minor logic lapses that you can look at and say, hey, maybe this isn't as good as we think it is. And, well, just now up the street at the mall, I can probably get something very much like this. But no, they've created an exciting thing that says, you've got to have it. You've got to wait for us to source the material and crowdfund it and all of the other things that are going to delay it. Now, going into their comments section here, there's some things about the previous campaigns that start coming up. Not the least of which is, you have the glowing things, such as this one from Kari. But then here's this thing from Daria. Will this be a shrinking disaster while washing, following your instruction? Leaving every customer unsatisfied, but still asking for more money for faulty products campaign like your previous bathrobe one. Now, I happen to have seen this fellow's posting about this in another forum. Apparently, he had gotten something from them, washed the item according to the instructions given, and it shrank. And apparently, it shrank a lot. But we have the true believers who share it on Facebook and Twitter and so forth because there's a promise that if you share it like this, you'll also get a free washcloth with your order. Nothing like bribery to drive your campaign, eh? Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. It goes on from there. But wait a minute, wait a minute, this person canceled their pledge. Wonder what that's about. Well, they shared it on Facebook, yet they canceled their pledge. I wonder what happened there. And let's see, yeah, on and on and on it goes. But if you look at some of the previous campaigns, there's an awful lot of discussion that the quality was not quite what they were expecting based on the campaign's promises. But you know what? It's your money. Spend it wisely. Buy something like this. Or maybe go to Amazon or your local mall or a shop down the street and see what they have. And maybe you'll discover that they have the best towel in the world or that all towels are the best in the world this has been crowdfunding hell